Well, succession planning, yeah, it is tied to some M&A, uh, mergers and acquisitions. But more importantly, I think it's tied to uh, evaluating what I, the talent I have in-house today. Um, where, where are they at in their career? I may have a key and critical position for several individuals that are getting close to retirement age. Or uh, I may have individuals in lower, uh, you know, skilled positions that are ready to move up. And we, what we can do is work with these organizations, identify their areas of, of possible, uh, you know, challenges over the next few years. You know, so if, we have, if you have a key engineer that is going to be retiring in the next two to three years, one needs to start grooming uh, an individual for that position. So what we can go do is go into an organization, help them evaluate their company. What do they have? Where are the individuals that are key to your uh, operation? And where are they at in their, uh, in their career? And um, that, that, that's also, um, that doesn't have to involve individuals that are at, you know, tails ends of a career. We may have high performers in different areas that there, there's some turnover. And so what, what would be a key area of your company that if you lost a candidate, if you lost an employee, you would be hurt. And so uh, identifying um, other individuals that could potentially um, step up skill sets to uh, take over if we have that kind of an issue. So succession planning isn't strictly about the end of a career. It's also looking at critical positions in an organization and identifying those and helping organizations staff appropriately.